Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to yet another episode here from the Shamblecraft server. And you join me here in a location that actually sort of slipped between the cracks in episode 50, but it's important nonetheless. This, of course, being the purple hut that we used for our super, super secret base for the head hunt for a little bit. But we are not here to hunt heads, oh no sir. We are here because of this building. Ow. So, alright, let me, ow, let me, let me get back on the roof. So, we are here because we need to fix some stuff at this project. <sighs> We are here because we need to fix whatever went wrong down here. And I kind of know what went wrong. So for those of you who have been following my episodes, you will know that I built a very, very basic guardian farm down in here. And the thing is, though, the second I built it, basically the entire Shamblecraft community reached out to me warmly saying, Fally, you are an idiot. And... You know, in hindsight, yeah, they're, they're correct. Because what I did wrong was, um, well, pretty much everything, really. The thing is, when I was building this, I looked up super simple Guardian uh, farm designs and found a thread on Reddit, and I forgot to look at how old it was. And apparently, this way of doing it is no longer that effective because they ch changed the spawn mechanics of guardians a good good while ago so because of that the odds of guardians spawning and slipping through there are well close to zero uh i have actually spent some time afking down in there today that we're going to get back to and i saw a grand total of three guardians to drop down in that time so yeah what we need to do is the thing i was kind of hoping i wouldn't have to do and that is we need to clear out the entire area however uh, long-time viewers will remember that we did this to Simon's Guardian Farm in, ooh, like episode, I don't know, episode 8, episode 9, something like that. And what Simon did was he basically cleared out the entire thing and left it hollow. I do not want to do that. I want to keep the outer shell, and that's what I was hoping to do. Uh, and what I'm thinking is I am going to build around the entire thing a wall of glass and that wall of glass is also going to cover the top of it or at least one layer below the sea so that fish will be able to swim above it there will be a layer of water on top but uh, because it's only going to be a one block high level of water then guardians won't be able to spawn on top however if i want to do that i'm going to need a lot of glass yes so since read by mud doesn't work for 117 yet earlier today and parts of yesterday i went on a long long trip in the mining desert where as you can tell from the clips here i brought a bunch of shulker boxes and i started digging some of it went well some of it didn't um and uh, yeah after all of that was done i brought all the shulker boxes back to the guardian temple set up a couple of smelters and yeah basically just sat waiting and after many many hours of afking at this very simple smelter setup that i did here we have two full double chests of glass and then some actually because the hoppers are starting to fill up so that is basically uh, nearly all of this sand converted into glass. And that is going to be the glass perimeter wall that's going to surround the entire thing. But after that, I also need to fill it, uh, which is going to be a challenge in itself. But luckily, uh, Johnny has also helped out with a bunch of shulkers of sand that we are going to be using Um that we are going to be using to fill this place up and that is going to be probably very lethal uh when we did this in simon's base we died quite a lot so 
it's going to be interesting to see how we fare with that however what we need to do first of all we need to take all of this glass and put it into these shulker boxes and we need to bring the glass over to you can actually see how the the hoppers are full of glass and we need to bring this over to the uh the nether because well we don't really need to bring the glass we can do it here really because what we need to do we need to dye it because i don't want the glass to be um i don't want the glass to be clear i want it to sort of match what we're already doing here which means that we are going to be needing a lot of cyan dye and uh well if you need dye go to jessico it's your life gray boring sad and lacking colour. Do you ever yearn for the time of the year when Eurovision fills the screen? Well, if you need more colour in your life, look no further. Come on down to Jessico. Jessico, yes, that's Jessico. Conveniently located in another shopping district, Jessico has dyes, colours and excitement for every occasion. Need some new threads? Want to spruce up the carpet in your homestead? Or do you simply want that sweet tinted glass that your neighbour has? Well then come on down to Jessico. Competitive prices, excellent service and the only remaining editing station for video home systems on this side of the Atlantic. So why wait? Why question it? Why read our reviews on the internet? Come on down to Jessico. Yes, that is Jessico. Conveniently located in the Nether Shopping District, centrally just off the main portal. That's Jessico at the Nether Shopping District. Come on down. And here we are. So... Did I remember to bring diamonds, is the big question. I left the valuables box at the Guardian farm, didn't I? Son of a b Wrong portal. And it's north. There we go. Yep. Spring. Bit. Wee. Ow. <laughs> and stuck on the landing. All right. Cyan die. We are gonna need. It's one. One stack is one diamond, so I think one, two, three, four, five, six, just straight off the bat. And we had some from before. And let's let's just make diamonds out of all of that, really. Let's grab another two stacks, just to be safe and pay an extra diamond just for the service. Right. In that case, we can go back to the Guardian Farm. Wrong portal again, you know what? I'm just gonna fly. And there we are. Right, now to get in here without dying horribly. There we go. And we should now be able to start crafting up a whole heap of glass. What I'm going to do, I'm actually going to bring the shulk up. I'm not very clever, am I? I'm going to bring them over here where the... Ah, go over there. I'm going to bring them over here where the crafting table is. Because moving the crafting table, that would have just been too easy. 
and we're going to start crafting up cyan glass. So according to the Minecraft wiki, in order to in completely encase... Um, in order to completely encase a guardian farm, you need about... Uh, I think it said 97 stacks. So we should, if my calculations are correct, have plenty based on this. Um, there we go, and take out some of the clear, put in some of the cyan, take out some of the clear, and put in some of the cyan. There we go, that shulker box is now full. And then keep going until we have a whole bunch of cyan stained glass. Well, okay then, viewers, we are going to set our spawn just so that we don't spawn too far away. And we are going to grab our shulker boxes of cyan stained glass. And uh, yeah, we're going to head outside and start work on this thing. Now, you might be thinking, Fally, your microphone sounds different. Well, there's a reason for that. I'm just going to place these shocker boxes here. The reason for that is that OBS decided to reset its settings, and I now have about 15 minutes of footage that doesn't have microphone audio. So now we get to play my favourite game, which is Fally guesses what he was saying when he recorded this. So, around the Guardian farm, we're going to be building a glass box uh, and having looked at the Minecraft wiki what I have uh, found out is that the box needs to be 58 blocks wide um, so the diameter based on the center of the Guardian Temple needs to be 58 um, I've also gone to Simon's farm uh, and double checked uh, just to make sure that I'm not doing anything wrong and Simon's farm has the same width so uh, now that I know what I'm supposed to do, um, there's really nothing more to do than to grab a bunch of glass from the shulker boxes here. And uh, yeah, we're going to bring it underwater with us and we're going to start working. Well, alrighty then, some time has passed and as you can see, we've gotten a very good start. So we have now successfully built up the frame uh, with a leg going down to the bottom on each corner, meaning we now have the outline of how big this thing needs to be. And as you can see, it is pretty big. What I ended up doing, because I felt like the box was a tad small, even though every piece of document documentation I've seen says it's more than big enough, uh, what I have, ow, what I have concluded is that I'm going to do it slightly wider than the wiki, than the wiki tells me. So currently, I have made this 64 wide instead of the recommended 58. But I mean, it's not going to hurt. The only thing, the the only real thing is that it requires more materials. Uh, but going at 32 from each side instead of just going at 29 gives me some more leeway to work with. I've also uh, done some tinkering um, in terms of uh, extending the tunnel um, that you can see down in there on the bottom of the screen or just near the tree there. Um, so that hopefully uh, I will be able to make some sort of entrance way from this house here that I'm jumping on into the guardian temple because right now we can just swim down but as we finish this box then we're not going to be able to swim down at all we're going to have to get access either via the nether portal or via some other means but yeah that is progress as it is right now i'm going to keep working and uh, i'll get back to you well alrighty then a couple of more hours of work has been done and as you can tell we have gotten a lot further we now actually have 
two of the four walls completely done and we've actually started on the bottom of the third wall as well and for those wondering Fally why do, don't you have your usual time lapse of this uh, the reason is very simple replay mod isn't publicly out for 117 yet meaning that uh, we don't have access to it yet so uh, no time lapses uh, today sadly you can also see down there that I've worked some more on the tunnel and that is actually where we're going to turn our attention right now. Um, and we're going to abandon the walls for a bit. You see, as I said in the previous clip, now that we are covering this up with glass, we are going to need another way to get into the Guardian Temple. And my plan is to take uh, these, uh, this end of the house here and make two bubble vators, one going down and one going up. Well, only one of them is going to be a bubble vator, but you get my point. So the plan is basically dig down uh, to where we want to be, uh, have one bubble vator going up and then have one simple drop elevator or drop chute with water at the bottom going down so that we can easily get to and from the Guardian Temple when we don't have direct access to the portal. Um, as you can tell, still some Guardian spawns, but most of them are probably leaking through here. Let's see if we can get in. Yes, there we go. So, here is the level of the tunnel uh, that we've already started working on. Uh, and that, oh, bloody gravel. As you can see, that is at Y uh, equals 40, meaning that we need on the other side to dig down to Y equals 40 as well but first of all let's dig in until we are just about where we want to if you look in the top right corner you can see my voxel map there and we want to be pretty much in the middle of the house there could you stop bothering me while i'm recording thank you sod off hey there you go <sighs> Well, it's a quick way to get up, if anything. All right, so let's head down here. And if mm, I've done what I was supposed to do correctly, if we head down to Y equals 40. There we go. I think that should do it. And head in here. We should now be able to very simply there we go, tunnel our way out into the place where we just dug. And uh, if this has gone to plan, we should be hitting the other tunnel soon. Should be just a couple of blocks away. Uh, yeah, man. There we go. Right, so that is the other tunnel. So all we have to do now is basically extend this a bit, uh, put in the elevator shafts, and uh, yeah then we should be good to go. So I'm going to keep working on this and uh, I'll get back to you. And the kelp is in, the water is in, signs are up. Could you stop bothering me? Right, so in theory, if we now remove this kelp and put in the soul sand and murder this guy, there we go. We should now, in theory, have, yes we do, a fully functioning bubble elevator. Right, so that means we now have a simple and effective way of getting up and down from the tunnel that goes into the Guardian Temple. And uh, yeah, all we need to do now is really plug the sides of the tunnel and drain the water, and we should have a pretty good way of getting in and out of the Guardian Temple. But that, ladies and gentlemen, is pretty much what we have time for in this episode. Sorry that the episode is a tad shorter than usual. Hello, Mignus. Ooh, sponges. Thank you. Yeah, sorry that the episode is slightly shorter than usual, but uh, yeah. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye! Thank you.